Now, if we look at Amazon stock, it has literally doubled in the last 12 months. Amazon, it's obvious it's not going anywhere. And even though there are lots of people out there that are talking about the fact that it's too competitive and it's oversaturated, is it even worth it? If you look at the number of new Amazon Prime memberships compared to the number of new Amazon sellers, which are third party sellers, people like you and me, you can see that the number of new signups for Amazon Prime just vastly, vastly outpaces the number of new sellers. So in fact, selling on Amazon actually becomes easier every single day because there are more customers every single day that join the website for every new seller. Meaning that right now, as you're watching this video, there has never been a better time to start. And it gets really confusing because there are so many gurus online. There are so many people online that talk about how it's too late or too competitive or, you know, money lost. If you literally type in Amazon FBA on YouTube, you can see all of these videos that try to scare you. When in fact, if I was starting an online business fresh today from zero, from scratch, you know, not having a lot of money, having no experience, I would start Amazon FBA because there's just no other business. There's no other way of making money online that even compares. And the fact that there are so many people online talking about Amazon FBA, you know, talking about passive income, online business, e-commerce, everybody wants you to buy their course, but how do you make out the truth from the noise? Right? It's a big problem nowadays. You don't know who's legit and who's not legit. You don't know uh, who to trust and who not to trust. And it seems that all the videos that you watch about Amazon either try to scare you or are trying to show you how much money that guru made and they're posing next to the Lamborghini or their supercar. So that's why it's so easy to get overwhelmed with not knowing who to follow, who's actually giving the right no BS information about how to start a successful, profitable Amazon FBA business. Now a little bit about me. I literally tried everything, okay? So if we just go back several years now, when I was about 20 or 21 years old, I wanted to start an online business. I was, you know, the typical college kid story where I was just hating my life in college. I was studying business. I was actually working at the bank and I just absolutely hated my life. I didn't see any kind of future where I would work nine to five the rest of my life. I would barely, barely get by paycheck to paycheck. I would maybe get some kind of a house in the suburbs where I'd have like a million dollar mortgage because that's how much houses are where I'm from. I grew up in Canada, right? And, uh, you know, crazy real estate bubble. And so I just said, you know what? This is not for me. I don't want to live a life of scarcity. I want to live a life just like I'm seeing all these people online living. And at the time, I was seeing all these influencers online. They were traveling the world. You know, they were making money online. They were posing next to supercars. And I just couldn't help but wonder, how are these people doing it? And so that's what led me onto this journey of trying everything. I tried affiliate marketing. I tried stocks, I tried cryptocurrency, I tried social media marketing, and none of it worked until I actually found out about Amazon FBA. And when I found out about Amazon FBA, that's when I completely committed to Amazon. I saw the potential. I started watching nonstop videos like eight hours a day. This was in 2017. In the span of the following three months, I went from zero, literally just making no money. I was $40,000 in college debt. I went from that to making $32,000 in a single month in revenue. And I had made more money in a single month than anyone has ever made in my entire family up until that day. 